All right, everybody, welcome back to another YouTube Hangout. Super excited to be here again with you for the third or fourth Hangout of the day. It's a crazy day. I've got my special guest, Felipe, back with me again. He was on last week. You guys couldn't see him because we were having some tech difficulties, but he's back. He's got his webcam on, and we're going to talk a little about his business and also uh, lessons learned for you guys as entrepreneurs and shift into talking about gratitude as well. So, Felipe, welcome back, man. Thank you very much, Ivan. I'm happy to be seen by your, by your events, right? Right now, I just dropped a bottle of water here, but everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> that's Felipe okay. is joining us. He's joining us from Brazil. To be able to, to see the face now, man. Last time we were talking, I saw this picture of you is a great picture a smiling picture but it's great to uh to see the man in action himself there so welcome aboard man thanks man thank you even my pleasure to be here with you guys so for the people watching to give them a little bit of background can you tell us about your company what you do uh so so we can kind of get into a discussion afterwards what is your business all about sure thing Guys, I'm Felipe Gibe, I'm from Brazil. I, am, uh, I was a frustrated English student, and then I convinced mom and dad to send me to a public school in New Zealand. After graduating my, my high school there, I started working as uh, everything I could. And then one day, mom called me and said, Felipe, we, we miss you so much. Please come back home. It's time to be back. I said, okay, no worries, mom, I'll be, I'll be going soon. And then I came back and went to the, to the school I had flunked, and I asked them to be their teacher. They told me, you're crazy. But then I took a test, and I could, I, I became a teacher there too. And then started uh, doing a post-graduation course in internet. Uh, graduation in international relations, post grad in Ang uh, teaching and learning English. Then I studied business in Oxford. Went to Georgetown for a leadership uh, program. That's everything's leaking here. Let me just try to <laughs> to, <laughs> to dry it up a little bit. Okay, so uh, then. My, I started, uh, I became a professor at, the, at two universities here teaching both English and international relations, globalization, international politics. And then I, I had a very bad car accident that just um, made me think of, of, of my life, of my future, of what I was doing. My dream was always to be a millionaire until the day I saw money is very limited. Money uh, doesn't cover the most important factors of our lives. So, so talk about the business now that you you founded. What it's all about to give people a little more context. Yeah, and then uh, it was 2011. I had this. Uh, car accident and decided to thank God for being alive, to thank God for, for the miracle I had, had been given. And I started uploading classes, video classes of English on YouTube since the very basic levels. Our class number one is hello, hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And then since then, uh, I decided to dedicate my life to to this English course, and since then we have taught 20 million classes for 181, for thousands of students in 181 countries worldwide. I love it. Now people are asking in the live chat about the map you have behind you and what, oh, yeah. the, what the dots signify there. So what what's the story with the map? Let me show you guys. Here we've got uh, Você Aprende Agora, which is our Portuguese to English platform. Here is where I am, Mato Grosso do Sul. Uh, let me just, so let me have an idea of the map. Yeah. 
Yes. I, I like that. You are here. I like that. <laughs> yeah. So here, this is Brazil. This is Central West of Brazil. I'm in the middle of the country. You guys are up here, right, Ivan? Yep. Yeah. So that is uh, the the T-shirt from the Olympic Games here in Brazil. It was a uh, torch bearer for, for, for Brazil in some parts. And we have two platform, three platforms right now. We have Portuguese to English, Spanish to English, and we are just starting Chinese to English. So uh. there are two dots here. One dot is for você aprende agora, the white dot, and the blue dot or gray dot for tu aprende solo, which is Spanish to English. And all these dots are the places where we have students. So it's all over the world. Yeah. These are the countries where we have, yeah. And here are some, some certificates, um, some stuff. There are some stuff from YouTube and yeah. Got it. So let's talk about giving some advice for entrepreneurs. We've got a bunch of people here who want to start their own business, have started their own business, trying to get to the next level. Uh, what kind of feedback would you give them on turning their thing into a full-time business or getting their business up to the next level? Some lessons that you've learned in building your company. Mm -hmm. Even we, I think we have pretty much uh, the same opinion about, about how to grow a business and um, one of the key factors is providing value to to your to your customers, to your clients, to your fans, to to the people who follow you. I always I always share three things um, when when people ask me to talk, or ask me to to give a lecture. I always take three three things that work with me. Now, I I avoid saying three advice. I avoid saying advice or lessons because each person does whatever um, he or she wants and prefers. But three things that worked very well with me is what you like to do, do what you love to do, and do it well. Be excellent in whatever you do. This is number one, in my opinion. Second is there is no perfect moment. There is no uh, right moment to start something. Right now, you even, you have a problem at your family. I do, I have it too. And everyone who is watching us is having a problem right now with their, in their families. If we, have, if we stop what we want to do, or if we wait for the problems to be over, we'll never be ready, because there will always be challenges in our personal lives, in our career. So there is no perfect moment. So if you want to start something, do it now. Start now. Oh, but I don't have the conditions. No worries. Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh, and third is work, work, work. Work very hard. Uh, the three things I always say are, are these ones. Uh, do what you like and be excellent. Second, there is no perfect moment. And third, work, work, work. I love it. Some great, great feedback, and uh, you know, echoes a lot of the stuff that I've been saying as well too. So we're we're on the same page there. Uh, shout out to Rafaela, who's from Brazil, watching us live too from Rio. So we got we got some uh, Brazilian fans here too. Um, great. When we were talking about this session, you wanted to call it. Gratitude will change your life. So the focus on gratitude, something I believe in. Uh, we do a daily gratitude stream on my YouTube channel every morning at 9 a.m. Eastern for 10 minutes. I share three things I'm grateful for. The people in the live chat share three things they're grateful for. And something we do every day. Uh, talk to me about the role of gratitude in business, how it's affected you. Obviously, it's very important to you because we named it gratitude will change your life. So what's the role of gratitude in business as an entrepreneur for you? There is no business without gratitude. 
in my opinion. There is no business at all without gratitude. And we need to, uh, to learn uh, and to be aware of the importance of gratitude. Sometimes people do something for us and, ah, I won't, I won't give it back because, you know, this is important. This is important. I, my, 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 my number one gratitude is to God. I thank God every single day for being alive. By the way, let me, let me show you guys another uh, part of our, of that glass thing. Can you see that? Thank God. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I have that written full time on, on that glass because and very big and having a big space of that uh, to be remembered, to be grateful every day. How does that affect business? It makes you grow. It makes you happy. It makes you a better person. Remembering to think by actions, not only with words, uh, will make you a much more successful person. Uh, I have seen it. I have seen it in my life. Before the accident I had, my focus was being a millionaire. After my accident, my focus was giving back, thanking God for being alive after a miracle I received. And man, I can tell you, uh, today I'm much, more, I'm much happier than I was. I have a huge impact. I didn't have any impact uh, before this accident. You see, um, I think it's without gratitude, there is no business. I wonder how do you, so I have a couple things that come to mind. I wonder what is your, so you have it on the wall, right? Like, you know, where you're facing that every day, you've got this, thank God, you know, on the wall, there's other words around it. What are some of the things that you do to keep the gratitude in mind because you know entrepreneur you a lot of stuff happening you're managing a team you've got all these customers in all these countries you know crazy hours working how do you remember what what is your schedule look like do you have rituals how do you remember to stay grateful uh, even I believe the the best way to to remember is to set rules on what you do. When we started Você Aprende Agora, when we started our course, there, the basic rule was all our classes are and will be free forever. With a rule to follow, you don't, you don't forget gratitude. You don't forget gratitude. It's very easy to forget gratitude if you don't set rules to yourself. If you don't set rules to your business, our value, our value number one here at Você Aprende Agora and Tu Aprende Salon and You Speak Now, all our platforms in our offices, our value number one is gratitude. Then we have uh, dedication, honesty, being fast and efficient in whatever you do, um, and meritocracy, meritocracy. Why meritocracy? Because it connects to gratitude. It connects to gratitude. The more you put in, the more you get out. So what are some of the rituals that you will do? Do you schedule it in? Do you like, first thing you get into the office, you look at the wall and you reflect, or before you go to bed, or what are some of the things that you schedule in that you do every day to stay grateful? I, I'm, always, I'm always thanking God for being alive. Uh, when I start my day, I pray. When I finish my day, I pray. I'm always uh, thanking my, my team to be with me, to dream big with me. I'm always uh, thanking my students to follow our classes, to give us feedback, to help us improve, to spread the word about us. We never invested any cent in marketing, even. Never invested any cent in marketing. And... We've taught 20 million classes. Student, we have students in 181 countries. So um, that's, 
I remember, um, I remember uh, to be grateful every single day, every single day. And I, I believe it's an obligation. It's an obligation to be grateful. It's an obligation to be, it's not nice or it's important. It's an obligation to be grateful and to give back. So one of the live viewers, Sumed, hope I pronounced it okay, uh, is asking, can you please tell us how to express our gratitude? The way you prefer. The way you prefer. You can, you can express your gratitude with words, saying things to people. Basically, if, if you love your mom, if you admire her, come to her and say, Mom, I love you. I'm grateful for everything. With words, you can say, you can uh, show your gratitude. With gesture, with actions, you can show your gratitude. Some people like to listen to, to your gratitude. So say, thank them. Some uh, other people prefer gesture, prefer you to take action. Take action. I believe action is more important than words. But the way you prefer, the way you prefer, Think of a, of a way to, to show your gratitude. Go ahead and do it. But I would also say it may not always involve another person. No. no gratitude for his mom or something else that he could actually demonstrate, but maybe he's grateful for the sun today, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody, but you're still feeling it where it's just taking two minutes to sit there and think about the thing that you have. And the fact that you guys are watching this stream, five percent of the people in the world, right? Like you care about self-development, you have an internet connection, right? You have time to sit and, and learn and improve yourself. You're ahead of most of the world and you think you have all these problems, but right now you're, you're pretty lucky. You know, there's, there's a lot of people who've done uh, a lot more already with less than what you already have now. And yes, you want to be ambitious and you want to grow and you want to make an impact and you want to build your business, but on the same side, you can still be grateful for what you do have and that makes you happier, healthier, you know, more successful entrepreneur, at least in my mind. So, you know, you already bring it up, Felipe, you do it through prayer. It doesn't always have to be an action for somebody else if you're grateful for something else around you too, right? Sure, sure thing. And uh, for the simple things too, even as you said, thanks for this lovely sky today. Thanks for this uh, sunrise. Thanks for this sunset. And uh, something I, I do a lot is I talk to myself loud. I talk to myself loud. I listen to my voice, uh, being grateful for the things, being grateful for things I have and for things I want to have. I thank the things I want to have. I thank God for things I want to have. And uh, the word God in, in your world can be uh, Christ, can be um, uh, spirit, can, can be energy, can be nature, can be the world, can be mother, can be whoever, whoever can be any any power any energy you are grateful for there's a follow up question which i think you kind of answered but it's good to bring it up um asking about the difference between writing down your your gratitude in a notebook versus saying it i do both and i recommend you guys to do both too you saw that you saw that glass that glass there up there, we have annual goals, and then we have thank God, and under that, uh, below uh, thank God, we have the month monthly goals, and in this small notebook here, I have my, my notes, my to-do lists, so I write them down. I write them down all the time, and I also say i also say there is a bell here in our office every time each one of us there are some people here when someone reaches the the goal this person goes to the bell and 
this person rings the bell and we have a deal here that when someone goes to the bell, everyone stays around this person with applause until the moment this person stops ringing the bell. So we celebrate our, our, our goals, our uh, achievements, we celebrate them. And I personally write a lot of them every, everywhere. And I love being very colorful with everything, so <laughs> I'm always highlighting things and crossing out words and stuff. Cool. And thank you for the question, Sumed. Uh, I think the most important thing, at least for me, and what I encourage with my team, is that you have to to get the benefits, you have to feel it. And uh, Felipe can comment on this too. I think you have to feel it. So just like writing three things down or just saying, yeah, I'm grateful for uh, my mom and the sun and the internet, you know, you don't get the benefits because you're not actually, you have to have the emotional connection. So if I'm saying I'm grateful for my mom, like actually just thinking about why am I grateful for my mom and spending 30 seconds thinking about it so I feel it here, that's where I get the benefit as opposed to just writing something down on a piece of paper, right? Um, so whether you're writing it down, whether you're saying it, um, I feel like the most important part, at least for me, and I'd love to hear your thoughts, Felipe, is that you actually emotionally are connected to that. So if you're saying, thank God, it's like, yeah, yeah, thank God, and I thank my car, and I think, you know, whatever, just, yeah. right? you actually feel it, you feel grateful for it, right? Yeah, it, has, it has to be real, right, even, what you were, what you were pointing, and I agree 100% is, be true to yourself. Be real, be authentic, be genuine. Uh, uh, have the habit to talk to reality. I'm telling you, dream big, but uh, feel true gratitude. Feel uh, true, uh, write true things. Dream big, but write true things and cross out things you really did today or yesterday or in things you've done. But what even saying, I agree 100%, feel, feel. It has to be real. If it's not real, it's like a bubble. Sooner or later, it will, it will blow up. And I love it. So, so now thinking about, so we're entrepreneurs here, you're building a business, you have a team, you know, we've already seen some of them in the, as you turn around the camera, how to, now that you've realized how important this is for you, what, you know, the most successful entrepreneurs I know of, they like to now bring these things that are working for them to the people around them, whether it's your friends, your family, your team. How do you bring this to your team? So you have it on the board, you have the bell practice. Is there something that you do? Like if you bring on a new person who may not do a daily practice of gratitude, that you just hired to be your new web developer or whatever position in your company. How do you, what do you do for your team to, to make it, because it's had such an impact on you so that they're doing it consistently to have an impact on them as well? Mm -hmm. I, I, they, I believe they will only learn these values if they see me putting them in practice. If they see me uh, doing and living what I say, they will maybe start doing it. They will maybe, they will consider doing it. But like something I, I value a lot is punctuality. And by the way, last time we talked, I arrived three minutes late and I was, no, I can't be, I can't be late, man. And I value a lot punctuality. So, when they come for interviews, the last, last uh, interview of, of, of our selection process here, of our recruiting here, is talking to me, having an interview with me. And uh, when everyone arrives earlier for the job interview, everyone arrives early. And when they are hired, maybe they get lazy about arriving early, arri arriving at the right time. And I always tell them, I value punctuality a lot. But 
I tell them this. They only respect what I say after they arrive here and I'm already in office. When they leave and I'm already, and I'm, and I'm still here. When I tell them, 8.30, we study together. Every Tuesday, we get together uh, and we study together. If I am late to our meetings, if I finish our, our meetings late, they don't have the example, dude. And if you don't show people by giving the example, it will be hard to pass your values through them. I tell them, right. be correct, be honest. But if I don't pay them on day one every month with every cent they deserve, they will say, hey, Phoebe, you tell us to be correct, you tell us to be um, the best example, but if you... If I'm not, if I'm, I'm not saying I'm perfect, I'm very far from being perfect, but I try my best to be the best example to everyone who works uh, here with us. I love it. And it's, hard, we, we... and it's hard when it's long distance uh, uh, relationship even. For the ones who were close to me here in Brazil, in Campo Grande, it's easy, but we have office in Mexico, we're starting China. When there is a distance, it becomes harder to show your examples and to, to demonstrate by action. But anyway, you have to show, you have to do by your example. I love it. Um, one of the things that we did before I started the morning gratitude stream was I started a private Facebook group for myself and the key people on the team. And we would share every day three things. And I was in there too, leading by example, sharing three things for me. If I'm saying it's important, I got to show up and do it too. And they would share three things too. And it also brought them closer together on a, in a non-business way in that, you know, I'm grateful that I um, uh, got through that operation. And like, oh man, what happened with your mom? Is she okay? Like it brings people together too on a much deeper level. Um, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of leading by example too there. Um, getting, getting some good comments here. Uh, uh, people are grateful that we arranged this webinar. So you've got some new fans uh, from, from Believe Nation here. Um, there was a question about frequency. So is writing it down once a day enough? Should I be doing it more? What are your thoughts on frequency of being grateful or showing it or writing or taking the action? Uh, you need to build a habit to uh, first be grateful and then to, to, to write things down and cross what you've done. What I mean by that is, I have my to-do list here. Uh, I have to transfer some money to my, uh, to my company's account. I have to buy a door, uh, door holder, I think. This is the name in English. And I have to transfer the document of a motorcycle I bought. These things I wrote in the morning. Two of them I've already done. So I have to cross here the transfer I've already done and the, the, and the motorcycle document I've already done. If I don't do it, until I don't do it, I don't throw this paper out. This paper is very, very ugly, but I won't put it into rubbish until I finish what I'm supposed to do. This is my strategy to be efficient. I'm not, I'm not, efficient if I don't write things down, if I don't have a reminder in my cell phone, if I don't write things there. And my wife today during lunchtime, she told me, Filipe, yesterday I almost got a bit nervous with you because you asked me the same thing four times. Because I was asking her, love, what do we have to do tonight? Love, what do we have to do tonight? Why? Because I didn't take note of our night schedule. So, Write things down and go for them. Yeah, I think if you're if you want to start the habit of a gratitude practice, don't don't set yourself up for failure. Don't say I'm going to be grateful ten times a day. You know, if you're starting from nothing, 
have it have it once a day like once a day consistently is so much better than nothing oh yeah right yeah. it's just it makes a huge difference and as you get used to doing it once a day you'll find other opportunities throughout the day to to do it as well uh whenever i'm trying to do a new habit i try to put it in the morning because you're more likely to do it in the morning than if it's at the end of the day your day starts exploding on you so and this doesn't have to take long like felipe how long does it take you to to do your gratitude prayer in the morning uh two minutes maybe Right, so you know, two minutes, five minutes. It's not. It's not. I'm not. We're not asking you to take 90 minutes out of your day to do this, right? So two minutes in the morning, put it on your calendar. Whether you use a book or a Google Calendar or your email, whatever, put it in there so you can check it off. And for two minutes, just sit there and think about things that you're grateful for. Do that once a day. Set yourself up for success. If that starts working for you, then you can do it more often. But I think too often with new habits, even like. I want to learn a new language. I'm going to go check out your service to learn a new language. If they have to commit five hours a day to do it, they're going to fall off pretty quickly. And if I can do it in small chunks daily, you're much more likely to, to stick to the habit. Sure. So, For sure, um, yeah. Cool. Well, it's crazy how quickly uh, time flies, Felipe. We're having fun. We're getting lots of great comments. People, More people from Brazil, Erica, Pianura. I hope I pronounced that okay. Uh, watching in and people around the world for people who've been inspired by this Felipe they want to learn more about you what you're all about your message where is the best way to uh, to reach you guys go on uh, voceaprendeagora.com or tuaprendesaura.com or youspeaknow.com or send me a message on my Facebook or add me on add me on snapchat GB Felipe my snapchat is D-I-B-F-E-L-I-P-E, -E, G B Felipe. Perfect. I think we linked out the websites in the description below too, so check that out. Uh, right. Felipe, man, thank you so much for sharing some gratitude, for giving us some wisdom and inspiration. Thank you guys all for watching live as well. Continue to believe or whatever your one word is, and we'll see you soon. All right. Thank you, Ivan. Thanks, guys. I'm Felipe Gibi. See you next class. Much love, man.